so there's a lot of funding available even though it's uh december and uh, christmas is coming on there it doesn't seem to let up as far as the opportunities goes uh the number one takeaway from this slide is get onto scottish enterprises funding database um a few months ago it was revamped from a uh, not so exciting list to more of a dynamic um, searchable database. There is a huge range of funding opportunities from uh, like your local councils down there on the right hand side, Angus Council, through to yeah, significant Horizon Europe, 25 million euro type projects. Uh, there's a lot happening in there. A few others coming up really quickly. There's the Innovate UK Smart Grants, um, the Automotive Transportation Fund, Transformation Fund, uh, closing in January. This one's probably a little bit too close, but the PEMD Skills Hub, um, I think is a really exciting one, but I don't know if you're going to get a million pound proposal together in the next uh, 10 days or so, so that'll be a little bit difficult. Um, one to keep an eye on is this Scotland-Germany Hydrogen Research Scheme. It's mainly targeted at academics, but it's a really exciting development. There is a role for SMEs to play in there, um, so take a look at that. One particular funding opportunity I did want to talk about was Scottish Enterprises Energy Market Expert Support. Um, this basically is for any companies, SMEs, I don't know, range of company sizes and types. So more than SMEs, getting just getting some support to understand how they might uh, yeah, further their market penetration or get a new low carbon transportation product into the market. They will do some market initial market analysis for you and even some technical due diligence there. Again, you can find that in Scottish Enterprises funding database, which is on their website. Um, I think, yep, okay. So uh, Catherine has posted the link in the chat for that if you wanna take a look. Okay, just uh, closing off with a little bit more cluster builder, why we're here, what we do. We also provide some uh, fully supported, funded, free, tailored business support to SMEs, Scottish SMEs who need a little bit of help. Um, these are just some examples of what we can do for you, but the best way to get engaged with us is pick up the phone, send us an email, um, and we'll have a conversation to see what kind of skills we have that can help progress your business. Um, yeah, as, as it relates to sustainable mobility. It's a fairly broad remit, but yeah, the first and best place to start is have a simple discussion. Um, our email address will be at the end here, um, but you can always find us on Twitter, as you can see at the bottom there at Mobility Scott. Um, the website is also mobility.scott. Uh, so take a look at that. Not too much information on there, but at least that's one way of contacting us. We also host events just like this one. So we've pretty much maxed out 2021, looking forward to next year. We uh, still haven't decided what exactly the themes for our events will be next year. We hope to do some follow on workshops around the heavy duty vehicle space. Um, so look out for those. And the way to keep updated is join our LinkedIn group. Uh, we might have a contact, uh, the link to that put in the chat as well. Uh, which is, as I mentioned, you'll find out about our updates and there's our email address yet again. Please reach out if you're a Scottish SME and uh, yeah, want to have a chat about sustainable mobility to explore how we might be able to help you out. It's a huge opportunity. Um, I, th I think here in Scotland, we underestimate how significant it is. Back at the start of the presentation, I talked about how it's, you know, 10% of the uh, I think it's GDP was the exact term, but basically the economy of Scotland. So there's a lot of areas to play a role. There's a lot of room for everyone with new innovations in the area to, to get involved. And it's a huge opportunity globally. And at the end of the day, we're all trying to do the right thing, sort of mirroring what Alan was saying earlier on. It's, it's everyone's role to sort of play their part and contribute to uh, achieving those uh, climate goals that we're all aspiring to. Thank you.